Hello, so today's topic is uh, why is the NHS failing? Or to be more precise, one of the reasons why the NHS is failing is because um, so many doctors um, don't know how to analyze blood test results and take action appropriately in time. So this is an example um, of someone who was told that their blood test results were normal. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's a 40 year old male. Um, yes, now there's no identifiers on here whatsoever. So if told it, it was normal, okay? Now, now this was actually written in red, that's not me. I mean, I put the star there, but in red, okay? Can you see that? It says serum cholesterol HDL ratio, and it's in red, indicating that there's a problem, okay? Uh, but it says higher up, serum lipids, no action, and then pff, nothing. Now, that alone, the cholesterol HDL ratio, is a marker for cardiovascular disease. And that should be acted upon. I mean, it's even in red, but why it even says no action? It's because, it's because probably doctors don't actually know what to do. But I'm also gonna have a look through, there's some other bits and pieces going on here as well. The other thing to look at is the actual triglycerides. And the triglyceride to HDL ratio also indicates a problem as well. Indicates there might be a problem with insulin resistance, which might be the problem why the HDL is actually too low. Um, but then we go down to something which is always ignored. No one, again, doctors don't tend to look at this, the red blood cell distribution width. Okay, now ideally that percentage should be between about 11.5 and 13. Now the normal goes up to 15, but anything above 13 equals increased cardiovascular risk. And this was 14. So there were two, three, there were two clear markers of cardiovascular risk, something indicating some kind of problem with insulin. There are some other little bits and pieces going on as well, um, such as, we'll just look at the white blood cell count. The white blood cell count is normal, but the number of neutrophils, which is one of the red blood cells, one of the white blood cells is actually too high. And when that's too high, it can use up a lot of what's called nitric oxide. And you need nitric oxide to help keep your blood pressure normal. And you need it to fight viruses and bacteria and other things and keep inflammation under control. Um, and the monocytes were a bit high as well, which indicates again, there might be some kind of inflammation or there's a bacteria in the body. So there might have been some kind of bacterial infection at the time that this blood test was taken that wasn't causing any symptoms. So I'm not too concerned about those at the moment, but the ratios were off. It's a, it was a sign of concern as well. And the other thing is potassium. Potassium, even though it was in the normal range, was below the optimal range when you look at all the science. Okay, and again, low potassium can lead to blood pressure problems. So you want to have a look at the diet and nutrition. So this indicates that you want to have a look at someone's diet and nutrition, first of all, and get things changing. Have a look at the stress they're under look at what they're eating and perhaps make some changes and then retest as well. So I just want to say thank you very much uh, for being allowed to share this. And I also need to really thank, if you're a practitioner, you need to go and learn from a guy called Dr. Brian Walsh. And I'll put a link um, somewhere if, you were, if you're a practitioner and you want to learn from Dr. Brian Walsh about really how to analyze blood chemistry. Be well, be magnificently well, be incredibly healthy.